Hello, my loves. Welcome to your Cancer love reading for um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, my loves. I hope all my Cancer babies are doing well, staying happy, safe, healthy. I'm so stuck like I don't know why as soon as I started your reading it's like I it's like I'm going blank I don't even know what to say it's so weird well all right let's let, well, let's keep going all right so anyways I hope all my cancer babies are doing well staying happy safe and healthy let's go ahead and get shuffled up here holy spirit angel spirits and guides what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my cancers please clarity guidance and love oh I see I get it now okay um Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Cancers, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Yeah, not surprised. Okay. Uh, that was the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Swords, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So my loves, if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. If you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, palo santo, sage, jewelry, um, runes, crystals, incense. Uh, did I say incense? Um, I give away uh, NIV version Bibles. I give away um, any type of self-help book. Uh, you know, it could be anything from Joyce Meyer to Reiki cleansing, chakra healing, uh, emotional support, anything to help you along your spiritual journey, okay? Um, in the description box below, you'll find the email cancerbabytarot at gmail.com. Please go ahead and use that email to manifest in the giveaway. Um, just put your user, your YouTube name. I always say username. Your YouTube name and your um, and what you would like to manifest in the giveaway, okay? Uh, the other email, cancerbabies11, um, 11, that is for if you need to reach me with a personal message, okay? Um, all right, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So guys, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe so that if you win, um, you do not miss that shout out and you know when my readings post, okay? Oh, and I also do a $250 a month giveaway. You do not have to send an email for that. I choose those winners randomly, okay? So, my loves, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message, which was kind of funny. I'm sorry. So, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it's you, Cancer, going through this or if it's your person, but somebody's got someone trying to holler at them. Like, you know, that we have, you have people trying to hit you up. They have people trying to hit them up. I feel that this is your person, though. I'm not going to lie. I feel like your person, um... Oh my gosh, what's that saying that they have, like, when the person is so good that they're dropping all the side side pieces or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's happening here. Like, this person, and that's why when I went blank, when I got on, into this reading, I and I was like, oh, that's what it is. I feel like this person just, when other people talk to them, they're like, I, I don't even know why you're talking to me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody here, ooh, somebody here has no um, interest in other people. I mean, just no interest in it. You know, I hit this selenite thing. Okay, I hit the selenite thing, and I thought it was a glass of water or something. I don't know if you guys have tipped over a glass of water with your arm today or a glass of something with your arm, but I felt it like clear. Like my heart even jumped. Like it was that was so weird. But anyways, moving on. Um, so this person, this person, I, I it could be you, Cancer. It could be you going through this. Don't get me wrong. But I feel for many of you, it is your person. Let me tell you something. Your person is wrong. Like they do not want to be talking to anybody like that they, they do not hold no one is able to capture their interest this person has no feeling no lust no emotion nothing towards other women or other men this person is walking towards you this person sees your worth this person is trying to get you to commit to them at the moment <laughs> i feel like this person knows what they want okay this person knows what they want and i feel like this person for some of you okay Okay, for some of you, this person may even be planning a very, very surprising marriage proposal for some of you. Okay, um, 
I feel like it really is going to be super shocking. It's just going to be like out of nowhere. But this person is trying to get you to just be their boyfriend or their girlfriend. And I feel like out of nowhere, you know, like if you make that decision, this is going to move into either, you know, someone getting pregnant or deeper levels of commitment very quickly. Okay, this is going to move into higher commitment or deeper levels of commitment very, very quickly. Um yeah, this person just walking. I, I feel like you need to know that. That this person is not interested in anyone else but you. Now, Cancer, this could be you. This could be you. That, you know, you got people trying to holler at you. And you're just like, I'm not interested. I got my boo. I'm good. You know, um, someone totally just doesn't even respond. Doesn't have anything to say. Like, done. Under the deck, the Nine of Cups, not surprised. So we have with the Nine of Cups, um, I feel, so it says generosity here. Now the Nine of Cups is generally an energy of uh, wish fulfillment, okay? Happiness. Um, and it's funny that it says generosity on this deck because I feel like what this person loves the most about you is your loving and generous nature, Cancer, okay? Or maybe that could be what you love the most about this person, all right? Guys, give me one moment. I'm sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, I feel like what they love about you or what you love about them is the gener the generous nature. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, though, that Nine of Cups does talk about wish fulfillment, okay? It does talk about wish fulfillment. Um, it does talk about this person meeting, like, the one. Like, I feel like someone here meets all requ Look at that. Soulmate energy right there. Why is my desk so dirty? Um, caring connection. I mean, this is real love here. Someone here is like, you got, uh, you know, nine cups. All I need is one cup and you are that cup. And here we are, 10 of cups. Let's do it. This person is, someone here is head over heels crazy about you, Cancer, or you're crazy about them. We've got a consciousness of lack. Now, this is what I think is funny. In this deck, the five of the financial constraints one almost came out. I got to be honest with you, I feel here that when you're not around, either you're at a distance from this person where this is a long distance connection, but when you're not around this person, they really miss you, Cancer, or vice versa. Like when you guys aren't together, it's like a piece of you is missing. Nothing will come of this situation. Um, I feel, I got to be honest with you, I feel mm -hmm. like this is... Um, the third party people coming towards your person. Um, I feel like maybe there are people that are missing your person. Like maybe your person had side people, let's just say, or like, you know, girls or guys that they kind of hit up every once in a while um, that are missing your person, but nothing is coming out of that. Let's see here. Spiritual clarity and guidance. What love messages do we have here? Okay, so let's get started here. Let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So that's kind of an interesting combo. I feel like somebody here really wants this connection. I feel like they're trying to, I feel like somebody was kind of, I don't want to say forcing because that's a strong word, but someone was really pushing somebody to make a decision. Remember how I told you someone here is just trying to at least get someone to be boyfriend and girlfriend and now out of nowhere they're going to ask for marriage, right? So I feel like this is the energy that we're at here. Someone here is trying to play it cool. They're trying to play it cool, but they're just like, okay, are we together yet are we boyfriend and girlfriend yet are we like you know what i'm saying they want someone to make a decision about commitment i'm feeling we've got balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges you don't want to push somebody into a relationship guys because that's not what a good relationship it's about you know what i'm saying you have to support your person like if your person is not ready to commit you gotta work with that until they are you know so here we've got mirror. Marrying each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. So you guys may have shared the same type of pain in life. We've got attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. This person that's trying to push someone into a relationship has a lot of people hitting them up, okay? 
they're, they're, they may be very good looking or maybe they're really good in bed. I don't know. But this person has a lot of options. Um, we've got the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child. Okay. And growth. So guys, I, I gotta be honest with you. I feel that a couple things here. Number one, I feel like you guys share something in common where maybe you have been put in third party situations in the past and you guys share this pain. Okay. Um, or I feel like this person like really sees themselves in you. Like they feel like you are their perfect counterpart. And I feel that we have maybe a third party here that wanted the relationship to go to a third phase and it never did. We've got wisdom here. Okay. Um, but we, we have third party energies trying to come in and like talk to this person. Um, but with wisdom here, this person knows that you are the one they know, like, you know what I'm saying? Or cancer. It could be that, you know, I don't know why I'm saying it that way. I'm saying it for a reason, but someone here knows we've got the queen of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, the four of pentacles, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. The Seven of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. The Eleven Eleven card. The Three of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And the Five of Cups. Okay. So, my loves, what we have going on here, Queen of Wands. So, here with this Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, we have a third-party energy here, right here, right here, that is trying to hold on. Okay, someone here is trying to hold on. Now, Cancer, this could be on your end, could be on your person's end. You take it as it resonates. But there is someone here that is trying to hold on to somebody. Now, here we have Cancerian energy, Scorpionic energy, Piscean energy, Seven of Pentacles. I feel that we have someone here that doesn't want to make the same mistakes um, from the past. So maybe this Queen of Wands has been able to interfere. Now, guys, third party interference. I know it's seductive this may look like it is very passionate like it is a, a you know a lustful type of lover thing but really it could be anything third party interference it could be a sister a mother a friend you know what i'm saying it could be this queen of wands can be anybody realistically okay um but what I'm feeling here is that, you know, I feel that this King of Cups here has made the mistake with this Queen of Wands in the past of allowing this Queen of Wands to come in and um, hurt a situation or break situations. But I feel that with the three of pentacles and the four of wands here, we have a solid, stable counterpart here, a divinely guided counterpart with that four of wands, because we've got marrying each other, which is like seeing yourself in somebody. And we've got this perfect four of wands energy here, three of pentacles, that's a solid foundation. And I feel that with the knight of cups and the five of, of, of excuse me, the knight of cups and the five of cups here, someone is coming in with an apology, maybe trying to guilt trip somebody. So I feel like somebody is moving on. I feel like somebody wants something new, okay? And we have somebody here on the side that, and I'm not going to even call this person an ex because I, I don't know if they are. An, this might just be somebody that this person was seeing that wanted more, do you know what I'm saying? Wanted more than, uh, than, you know what I'm saying? They just wanted more out of the connection. Let's see here. I don't know why I keep yawning when I do my readings. If anybody knows what that read means, please comment below. I, that's so weird. All right. So anyways. I'm trying to see if I see any other messages. I'm getting just a very forceful energy here with this Queen of Wands. Like someone is trying to force their way in. Spirit, what messages do we have here? For my cancers, please tell me about this Queen of Wands. The Fool, Aries energy. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. 
The Seven of Cups. Yeah, I, I feel like we've got this Queen of Wands that's ready to do some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? This, this Queen of Wands is ready to do some risky stuff to prevent this King of Cups to from moving on you know what i'm saying from moving on to other options five of pentacles and the king of cups the, they're there this queen of wands is feeling left out in the cold and with the seven of pentacles and that knight of cups again here um i feel that this um this queen of wands wants to come in wants to apologize for mistakes that were made in the past so maybe it wasn't the king of cups that made the mistakes maybe it was the um queen of wands Sorry, guys, you know, I had that LASIK surgery recently and I just had to put some drops in my eyes because I felt like there was sand in my eyes. So maybe it wasn't the King of Wands that made this um, mistake in the past. Maybe we have this Queen of Wands that's coming in here wanting to apologize. Do you notice that this whole reading, I feel very jittery, off and distracted, and I feel like that's how this Queen of Wands feels. I feel like this Queen of Wands just doesn't know what to say or what to do next. They're kind of all over the place. They don't know how to get this King of Cups attention, okay? Now, Cancer, again, this could be someone not wanting to let you go, okay, um, to move on to another option, or this could be something that your person is going through. But I'm getting a sense of mistakes were made in the past where maybe somebody forgave this person one too many times and that's it. Uh, yeah, we've got the devil here. Someone is jealous of this four of wands, man. So Capricorn energy. Someone is very, 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 very jealous of this uh, relationship. We've got the three of pentacles and the five of swords. I feel like somebody here wants to try to come in and sabotage it. They're seeing that there's a strong connection that's building and somebody wants to mess it up. Now, again, this could be a sister, a brother, a mother, a friend. Uh, you know, it could be anybody. King, uh, excuse me, the knight of cups. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre Empress Energy, and the Five of Cups and the Nine of Wands. I feel like, okay, here's what I'm getting, guys. I feel like this Queen of Wands is trying to concoct a plan to where this King of Cups hurts this Pre Empress. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then this, ki this Queen of Wands can go to this Pre Empress and hurt her or or him do you understand what i'm saying with this nine of wands energy this king of this queen of wands is trying to get this king of cups to do something that they are later going to regret and that's how they plan on sabotaging the connection so let me let me give you an example so let's just say you know this person texts your person hey what's up what are you doing no answer i'm drunk and i'm about to drive and i can't get home no answer okay fine i'll just drive and then your person answers don't drive what are you doing where are you do you see what i'm saying just out of sheer concern let's just say i'm, I'm just this is just a, a an example okay do you see how this person is reeling your person in, right? And next thing you know now this this queen of wands is screenshotting this and sending it to you so so this queen of wands has this plan to try to sabotage this connection you understand so let's see here we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents guys this can even be a parent that's getting involved a sister make the effort great love is worth taking the steps that you're guiding guided to take friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve Girl with the snake, empath and narcissist paradon being charmed or used enable boundaries. Passion and same chemistry like each other equally and having fun. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. And service, there's that energy of generosity. So, guys, I feel what we have here is two people that heal each other. Because don't forget, look at what we have here. This person, this King of Cups, sees something, like sees themselves in this person, right? So we have this beautiful soulmate connection that... Um, it's very healing, okay? It's very healing. And I feel like you guys are making the effort to... Um, 
come towards each other with love as, as a, you know, as friends, as love. And I feel like there's passion. Love is coming. You guys are very giving to each other. You guys take care of each other. But you see, in between all of this, we've got this girl with a snake. Um, and it says here, enable boundaries. Okay, so I feel that somebody has to block out this third party energy here. Someone here has to put this wall up and now this could possibly be a friend. You know what I'm saying? This could be this queen of wands could be a friend. We have the knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, the great bear, which is the judgment card, Sagittarian energy. The green man, the emperor, Aries, Taurus, energy. Sorry, guys, I, have, I haven't used this deck before, so I'm looking at the... We've got the pole star, which is the star card, Aquarian energy. The stag, the strength card, Leo energy. The Six of Cups. The Eight of Cups. And the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords. So, <coughs> excuse me. I feel what we have here is we've got somebody that's coming in wanting forgiveness. They want a second chance. They want a second chance. This person has a lot of hope. They have a lot of hope that they can gain control over this King of Cups. Guys, I got to be honest with you. I don't feel that this is the new person. I feel that this is an ex. I feel that we have an ex coming back into the picture that uh, is coming in wanting to apologize, wanting a second chance. This person is trying to gain a grip, gain control over this king of, of cups here. With the strength card and the six of, of uh, cups here, we've got this X, again, that is trying to, I'm getting, gain a sense of control. This person is maybe a narcissist. This person will charm somebody. This person maybe is coming in saying, uh, can we just be friends? Okay, this person may be coming in saying, can we just be friends? Um, but I feel like this person is moving on. We've got passion, Cupid's arrow, service. I feel like somebody is already in love and passionate with somebody else, giving to somebody else. And that's why here we've got this uh, this ex, this past person with the eight of cups and the six of swords. Um, you have to withdraw from this person because you have to walk away emotionally and leave it behind because I feel that somebody here has already moved on. You, do you guys understand? Like someone here has already moved on and we've got this ex that ha is, is spiraling out of control because they feel like they've lost control. Do you see what I'm saying? Consciousness of lack and nothing will come of this situation. They're realizing that no matter what they do, no matter what they do, they, they can't get to this person again, to the other person. Are you guys, are you guys following me? So we've got this outside person, and I guess it is an ex with that six of cups. Could be family too. But somebody is, you know, when we've got like a narcissist card and this emperor card, that's a very controlling narcissistic energy. So we have someone here that's basically losing control over a situation, and that's what's driving them crazy, that they can't control the person anymore. Tell me about this knight of pentacles. The hanged man, Piscean energy. This person is coming in with an apology, getting left on red. Um, there we go. We've got the page of pentacles, an apology coming in, wanting a second chance. Tell me about this emperor, the wheel of fortune. Tell me about this uh, star card. We've got the knight of pentacles. Again, you see this, this emperor wants to win. This emperor wants the tables to turn in their favor. Tell me about the strength card. But we've got justice here, guys. We've got this person maybe is facing karmic justice because the wheel and the, this justice card, that's karmic justice. I don't know what this person did, but they lost you. Six of cups and the page of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. The eight of cups and the seven of swords. Someone here is leaving, moving on. I feel like someone emotionally disconnected because 
They're, they cheated. Yeah, see, six of swords and the two of swords. Somebody got cut out of the picture maybe because they were a liar, uh, a cheat. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was being really dishonest. So I feel like there's this beautiful soul tie connection. This four of wands soulmate connection here. Um, a lot of love, a lot of joy, okay? But then we've got this past person or this queen of wands that's like taking over the whole freaking reading, wanting to shove themselves in. This is a very, I told you, there's a very domineering energy, right? Um, and with that emperor card, like this person's just dominating both sides. They want to come in, dominate, and push their way in. You know, that's not good. You know, we've got the devil. We've got karma here. We've got this wheel of fortune. This is definitely a karmic, I'm feeling, that may be coming in to wreak chaos. We've got chariot. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focus. Spirit is telling you to move forward. Move away from this, okay? Move forward and move away from this. But I, I don't feel like this person is going to let up, though. I really don't. Um, so, you know, I know some of you may give in. I know some of you may give in and may go towards the ex. And, you know, the question is, should I take them back? Are they coming back because they love me? So I, I get that. Um, so we'll go into the extended. Let's see what this ex's true feelings and intentions are, what outcome, if you should reunite with them. And then we'll do a little bit on this caring connection because this, this really looks beautiful. This new love really looks beautiful. So let's see what the ex's true feelings and intentions are. Um, you know, what the outcome will be if you get back with them and we'll find out more about this new love. All right, guys, I love you. The link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. Take care.